G'day mates. So this is where I am so far uh, with the Stug 3 from Dragon, 135th scale. I've put on uh, all the suspension arms, torsion bars inside, uh, drive cover. Uh, I've started on the back plate with the two exhausts. I've cleaned up all the wheels, the return rollers, drive sprockets, idlers, etc, etc. Uh, they're ready for paint, the wheels. I'll paint them before I put on and it will be rubber black from Tamiya. I think that might be XF85, I'm not sure. I'll paint them beforehand anyway and I won't put them on till last. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. Some good detail on it as well. Just fits perfectly. They all line up, I tested them with a with the edge of a steel ruler they all lined up absolutely perfectly no problems at all oh yeah I put the extra uh, front armour on it look at those beautiful moulded bolts on there really tasty tasty little kit that so that's where I am so far uh, the next stage is finish off the back plate uh make up the um jack uh fix some of the tools to the side fenders the tow cables the s towing hooks the jack block the axe spade shovel crowbar that sort of thing that'll be next for me finish off the back plate and then move on to the next part a very very tasty kit and it's my first dragon kit so I'm impressed with it the plastic is beautiful it even feels nice in your hands and I don't know if I can make this out but It even has Continental on the rim of the tyre, which is the tyre manufacturer. That's, you can just make, there it goes, you can just make that out. Continental or Continental, as it used to be on the advert on TV. But very nice indeed. So, that's where we are with the... Uh, Stug 3 from Dragon. Catch you later.